All right, uh, right now I'm getting ready to start on this fender. Um, so far I took the bumper off. I didn't get a chance to really video because my, uh, I didn't realize, but the battery ran out. Um, there's a piece that goes here. I ended up yanking that out. I mean, the egg pretty much goes here. And actually, right here. That's a little screw that was in the, um, behind the, um, the side turn, the side blinker. You don't, I don't think you need to remove that actually. I ended up doing it. You have to really tug on this thing, you know, to pull it off. Um, it's something that, you know, I couldn't figure it out. So eventually I just tugged on it, came off. You gotta disconnect this. This is for the wiper fluid for the um, headlights. If you um, need that, I know I removed the liner. It's, a, I think it's about four screws. Um, there's one screw that goes uh, up here, right there. And that one, uh, it's different than the other screws, so just take a look at it. It's got a slightly bigger head on it. Um, not a head, but uh, it's got a little spacer on it. Um, from there, it's just a bunch of, you know, of these screws from underneath. Uh, you just remove all of them that you can pretty much that you can see, and uh, the whole thing comes off. Uh, over here, there's a clip uh, that goes he back through here. This is what it looks like. Um, goes in with this orientation so I ended up having a, a little hook tool that I have and I you know I was able to grab you know it actually sits it sits right in through here through, uh, let's see right in that gap there so it goes and sits in there um, slide and it slides this way so you know it's inside there you know behind this and the whole thing just slides out this way pulls out and you can disengage that there's a couple screws here, one, two, three, those come out, uh, which are the screws that I have in here. Um, and then from there, there's actually a connector, an electrical connector that's right here on both sides. Those go towards the, uh, the fog lights or the turn signal lights on the front. Um, so that's pretty much it, you know, that's how everything you know, the lights came out. Let's connect for the lights. There's another switch here, actually. I uh, I took it off of the... There's a little, I guess, uh, something where that connects to just to hold it in place. I took it out just because it was easier. I couldn't get it disconnected. But that's pretty much it. You know, I did the same thing on both sides. See, this piece stayed here. And um, that's pretty much it. All right, I'm going to be prepping the uh, the bumper in order to um, get the wrap in, into these grooves. I know a lot of videos I've seen online say so you stick a credit card or something in here and that releases some clip. But there's no clip that I can see here where this, you know, to me this is held on by screws. So I'm guessing you would have to, there's no really no way to get this off without removing, uh, removing the whole thing. So I don't see how, you know, you could really do it any other way. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna try to remove all this now. Yeah. 
I need to remove the uh, the rear license plate. Um, so not the license plate. Well, I already removed the license plate, but I'm going to be removing the tail lights. So I'll get started on that. when the bumper comes off. <laughs> Guess you didn't have to remove the bolt all the way. it's a trunk release. No, it can't be a trunk release. Anyways, put that right back in there. Leave that here. This is what you have to remove in order to get that bumper off, so I'll get working on those. Put these in a safe spot. Hopefully I'll get that screw back. Time to wipe with alcohol all of these surfaces here, clean that off. I'll probably start with a, a, a rinseless wash. Alright, I'm not going to take it all the way off this time. Just loosen it.
Wait on a second. I think it's a T30. Kind of an awkward angle. Probably help to, I guess, lift this up so you have a little bit more room there. But that's what it. That's what you got. You got a T, T30 screw, and that's just underneath there. So we're gonna leave this, I guess, there. Now, I believe you do have to remove. Actually, you don't have to remove that one. I'm not sure what that screw's for. We'll see once we get this off. But um, I believe this is a T30 also. That's pretty loose. Uh, T30. Yeah, it's T30 also. comes right out. There we go, the whole thing comes out there. Five is for the headlights, for the uh, tail lights. So I'm gonna have to get a shorter screwdriver for this one. So I can at least start now on that on that fender. Now that this is off, I can clean this up and start on this fender now where I can tuck underneath. So I think that's what I'm gonna do now and eventually move on to the bumper. So really you can do this in order to um, instead of taking the whole bumper off. I'm gonna take the whole bumper off because I wanna get I wanna get underneath these bumperettes so I can wrap them individually and um, most likely do a piece down here.